I can't believe we've waited so long for a device like this. In this video, I'm going to share some home studio recommendations for guitarists. This is not only gear that I've tested and love, but some gear recommendations from my guitarist viewers. In fact, if you're just getting started, I've even shared their favorite electric and acoustic guitars. Let's take things step by step. The computer, audio interface, mics, plugins, and I've got the amazing Positive Grid Spark Amp right here, the most fun I've had with a guitar in ages. And watch till the end because I'm gonna share some free plugins you can download today to get started. This is not a sponsored video, but if you use any of the links in the description, it helps out this channel. Thank you. If you're new around here, I'm Sanjay C. I have tons of videos about music production and home studio recording on my channel. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I always get straight to the point in my videos and reviews. First of all, if you don't have a guitar yet, I've polled my viewers for their recommendations. The electric guitar most recommended by far is the PRS SE Standard 24. The second most recommended electric guitar is the Fender Player Stratocaster. The most recommended acoustic guitars are the Taylor GS Mini and the Yamaha APX and FG series. I'll add links to these guitars in the video description. Oh, and one of the most recommended amp modeler and effects devices from my viewers is the Kemper Profiler Stage. Yes, it's expensive, but people just swear by it for studio and live performance. If your budget's lower, don't worry, I've got some plugins that may suit you better for the studio. And thanks to everyone who shared their experience and recommendations on this gear. All right, you've got your guitar, now what? Well, you need to prepare your computer for recording. If you've got an i5 with eight gigabytes of RAM, you're off to a good start. If you wanna buy a new computer, I've recommended a few that are great for music production. You can watch that video here. Next, you'll need software, a digital audio workstation to record your guitar onto your computer. A DAW will help you record multiple tracks into a song. You've got lots of choices. I use Ableton Live, but don't rush to buy one yet. Depending on what audio interface you get, you'll probably get a free one, scaled down version included, and you can use that for a while. However, for guitarists, there are some popular DAWs. If you're using Mac, GarageBand is an excellent place to start, and it's free and you can easily upgrade to using Logic Pro when you're ready. There are amp simulators and effects included for guitarists, and best of all, I love their virtual drummer. Just set it to start drumming and play along. It's a great way to get your ideas down quickly without knowing how to program drums. On Windows, there are so many good DAWs as well. Reaper is inexpensive and is used by many guitarists. Studio One by Presonus is also an excellent choice with its Empire plugin. So now I know you're ready to try some virtual amps and effects. I'll get to that later in the video. For now, we need to add one more thing to our setup an audio interface. There are lots of audio interfaces for $100 and they'll cover the basic features. Plug in your guitar, connect to your computer, choose the channel, and you're ready to record. Pretty easy. Or plug your guitar into your effects pedals and then straight into the audio interface. So what's your guitar pedal chain? Comment below to share your setup. By the way, if you wanna know how to connect all this gear and start playing, I've created a video showing you exactly how to connect everything in your studio. You can watch that here. But wait, there are some specialized guitar interfaces too. IK Multimedia makes guitar-centric audio interfaces all the way from $99 for their iRig HD to the Axe I.O. interfaces, which start at $249. And they really step up the features for guitarists. I'm gonna also cover the Positive Grid Spark. I'll talk about that later in the video, so don't miss it. For now, let's talk about the IK Multimedia Axe I.O. Solo. I love that they've included the amp output here. If you've already got an amp that you love, you'll hear your amp, while you send your signal straight into your computer or tablet. The Axe interface also features an XLR input for a microphone, so you can mic your acoustic guitar as well, or even your amp. The Axe I.O. features a fully discrete input circuit with pure and JFET input stages, so you can hear your guitar pure or with a tube-like sound as well with one switch. And you can dial in the perfect setting with this knob.
You also get Amplitube for Deluxe software with it. 140 models of cabs, pedals, mics, and more for your guitar and bass. Now, if you want to check out interfaces at $100, I list the best out there in a video here. Now, you may prefer recording the sound of your amp or recording an acoustic guitar. If you want to mic your amp or your acoustic guitar, I highly recommend a condenser microphone. You can use condenser microphones, which I prefer because I love them for vocals as well. I recently tested the AKG P120, which should work really well for you. If you want to listen to other guitar recordings with the top mics out there, you can check out my top recommended mics in a video here. Okay, we've got our electric and acoustic guitars recording in our DAW. Now the really fun part starts. You can use plugins to change the sound of your guitar. Listen to these options, so many. If you want something free to begin with, you can download Amplitude free by IK Multimedia. You get 24 pieces of gear and they sound great. I'll share other recommended freebies and plugins later in the video. Hey, if you're finding this information useful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. So what if you just wanna play with a bunch of effects? Maybe practicing your riffs. Let's talk about the Positive Grid Spark. This little amp works with an app on your phone to add effects and amp simulations to your sound without having any of your pedals around. Let's listen to a few presets. I think this is a great travel amp for guitars. Just one unit for so many sounds. Take your laptop with you and you can record straight from this amp to your computer using a USB cable. It sounds amazing and the app is so easy to use, just connected by Bluetooth, wireless. And when you start using the practice tracks, it just elevates this thing to a whole new level. Choose from different styles and you've got a backup drummer, bass guitar, and now you just play along. The drums and your guitar play right through the speaker here. It even shows you the chords while playing. I can't believe we've waited so long for a device like this. I started playing with this and didn't put it down for hours. So what if you've got some extra money to spend? Well, you could upgrade the audio interface to something like the Universal Audio Twin Series. The UAD interfaces have some special features allowing you to load your amps in their interface and not use your CPU power. And this reduces latency. Universal Audio has a bunch of amps and effects modeled after some of the most sought after gear out there. They sound excellent and the company's reputation is excellent as well. If you're serious about expanding your studio recording capabilities in the future, this is the long-term choice for you. If your budget allows it, you should check it out. What about speakers or studio monitors? My suggestion is to buy what you can afford. For around $200, the PreSonus Aeris 4.5s are so good and they're great for mixing your song too. I've recorded and mixed with these and just love them. Larger speakers will give you more bottom and bass and as you go up in price, you might find some better clarity and sound separation, but start with something you can afford first. In fact, a good set of headphones may be right for you at the moment. I have a list of the best studio headphones on my channel as well. You can watch that video here. Finally, another freebie. Native Instruments actually has a free version of the Guitar Rig plugin. It's called Guitar Rig Player. You get an amp, 
and cabinet and effects. Then when you're ready, you can upgrade to the full version later. One of my viewers also recommended the free G-Tune VST, a great guitar tuner for your computer. There are lots of other plugins out there and I'll list a few of my favorites in the description. I hope this video has helped you choose some great guitar gear for your studio. If you have questions about any of the gear I mentioned in this video, leave it in the comments below. Keep making the music you love and watch one of these videos next.